Hey guys, welcome back. This is my second project for Kitaholic Kids for the month of May. I'm doing another 12 by 12 layout, believe it or not, and today I'm documenting the story of our Easter Sunday morning and all of the chocolates that my um, daughter Emma got for Easter. Now, I loved this 12 by 12 paper so much, like that beautiful um, floral border was just stunning, but I felt like it was a bit much with my photos and I felt like I needed a little bit more white space on this layout. So I just fussy cut partially around the outside of that, um, this paper of, of, sorry, the inside portion of this, um, paper. And then I'm just going to cut off and create some white space. So as you can see what I've done, it's hard to explain, but you can see what I did. Um, I am going to stick that to the 12 by 12 white backing paper. And then I didn't want such a harsh line there, so I'm going to take my new border punch, which is as difficult to use as my old border punch, and I am just going to punch a, just a more delicate, beautiful, frilly, whatever, border. This is me trying to figure out how to use it because the first time I ever used it, and I have now since figured it out. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that's the border you can see there, and I'm just going to stick that as sort of a trim to the bottom of that harsh line. You don't see a lot of it in the final layout, but I feel like it does make a difference just because it is quite a stark line and I don't really like that. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to stick that down and then I'm gonna start working on the rest of my photos. One thing I feel like I should have done with this particular layout is make my photos a bit smaller because they tend to, for a layout that I wanted to have a lot of white space, the photos tend to dominate the layout a little bit. I generally don't mind this. I um, quite like large punchy photos on my layouts, but with this particular layout, I wanted to challenge myself to create something more with more white space and I think that I actually have like an ongoing problem with this where I genuinely do not know how to have a layout with a lot of white space if there's too much white on a layout it makes me panic I freak out I feel like I have to fill it with something I can't for the life of me just leave white space be white so I think that's why as soon as I saw the photos were a bit large I didn't really care and then as you can see down the track, I'm actually going to basically fill all the white on this layout anyway. So um, I, I do like how it turned out, I should say, but it's just funny that like my aim for this was to have lots of white and I just did not succeed in that at all. Now I cut those photos down and I wanted to use uh, some backing paper and I loved this milkshake paper, but I didn't really know how else I was going to use it. So I thought it'd be fine to use it to back um, one of the photos and I'm using this tape paper to back the other photo because obviously all the colors match exactly right. So I'm going to stick these two down and I'm going to make them go at a bit of an angle like so. And the one of my daughter I wanted at the front because I don't really mind if that gets, um, I don't really mind if the background gets too covered up. And in terms of titles, I didn't know what title I wanted. I wanted literally like five titles from this particular layout. So I've decided to split the difference and I'm gonna go with three titles. So it's going to be magical, awesome, happy. I think the title is gonna be ultimately. But uh, the way I was thinking about it is like, it's, it creates a nice like visual triangle. So I was like, it's okay, it makes sense. Plus. All those beautiful pastel rainbow colors just made me happy. I'm sticking down three of these little love hearts as well. Um, and I'm actually gonna add a fourth one down the track. But yeah, that like, the, the, the colors tied in so well together, even though they're not from the same collection, I really like how they look because the background is quite pastel-y. And so is the background in my photos. And then the foreground on my photos are like more bright and punchy. And that's kind of the same thing in the layout, like the, the embellishments that I'm using are more bright. So I, I like that that ties well together. <clears throat> the person who loves color um, in my heart feels very happy. <laughs> um, I am taking these teeny tiny little sprinkly dots that we got in the kit and I'm just going to sparkle them all over. They're very shiny. You can't really see on camera, but they're very pretty and sparkly. They create just the perfect amount of like dazzle to a layout. 
I'm going to add some of these ribbons because I wanted some different texture, but I couldn't quite figure out how to adhere them to the layer. So I'm just stapling them, which means that they're all kind of around the border because my tiny attacher doesn't have the longest arm. This is where I'm adding the third one. Oh, sorry, the fourth heart. And I also added a fourth little ribbon. Now I am going in and I'm just going to add lots of sprinkly stars all over the layer, which I have been doing for the last six months or so. And I just love how it looks. Like, I just really love how this looks. Um, it means you can just create your own embellishments and it's amazing. Um, now going forward, I'm doing some journaling. I did my lines there. And once the journaling is done, I think I'm going to add my date, add a tiny little border or because yes, that's it. I'm going to add my date. Then I'm going to take a Posca marker, a purple one, and bring all the purples in from this layout and just create a border around the white part of this layout, which um, you'll see towards the end there. And I'm adding, using that same Posca, and I'm actually going to add like a few little dotty dots, spotty spots around as well, but not too many. Just kind of where I put those little gem, those sticky gems from before. So I am, where am I? Oh, there I am. Um, I'm going to add this border, add a few little dots, and then call this layout done. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I will see you all next week for another layout. Bye.